Okay, and this one has had a stamp that I got from Studio G. It was the Father's Day one, and it says you are the best on there. And I just did that with the white stays on on black. Here, I just add some ribbon and an eyelet to it. Just has the foil on there. And then blue. And this just has polka dots on it. And then this one is the full tag. And then I just took a rimmed uh, metal tag and took a star Swarovski crystal uh, charm and stuck that on there. And and this one just says MVP. This tag is just red and it says uh, Rebel. And this page, I did the same uh, Prima Flower, folded it in half, and added a uh, ticket that I also received from my Boswell partner, Suzanne. And it says Play. Um, it says Sports. And then I just had the, I don't know how well you could see it, um, the little tabs that you use on file folders, and it says State Champs. And then it just has the same pattern on the back. And then this page just says, you know, champ, score, you know, all that kind of stuff. There's another two-tag page. Uh, this is an inspection tag, and it just says all kinds of stuff on there. And it says, generally, this tag is used for fun, but in really desperate situations, parents are permitted to say that it is real and that the police have been notified. Um, and this paper here is also um, basic gray, too. But everything else was from... The paper pack that I got. And then here's another quote one. It says, for direct quotes only, accurate representation is essential. If you must misquote, please do so with style. And here's those award pages with the foil. And then here's another gear, and I stuck a faux machined brad in there. And then this is actually a pocket that they can stick another tag or a picture or some memorabilia in. And then this just has that matching paper on there. Um, and then I just used a chipboard uh, frame on this page. I didn't put anything in there. I figured they could put something in there. I just used for decoration some star brads that I had. And this one, it tag has a fabric brad on the top. Just has the same matching paper on there. Just some swirlies on there. And then this one has a, an epoxy star with some uh, orange fabric, not fabric, I'm sorry, fibers with it. And then I had a different stamp set that I used uh, and says, Dream a Little Dream. And then matching on the other side. And just a red page. And then this tag, I used the binder clip again and covered it with uh, distressed paper that matched the set. And then this is supposed to be a, like a newsprint. Um, paper that was included with the set and I crumpled it up smoothed it out crumpled it up smoothed it out did that several times and then inked it while it was still kind of crumpled and then used my brayer and flattened it out and I really like it it really looks really kind of funky so that's like one of my favorite pages I actually did that technique in my um, uh, chocolate bunny uh, mini album that I did um, with rusty pickle um, you can see that video on here and then here's another tag pocket, and that I just used a metal um, label holder, and it says "Got Game." And then with this tag, I just took a piece of ribbon and used that as the pull. And at the bottom it says "Got Game," and then matching paper. And then here's the newsprint page I was talking about. Just has some words and has little articles on there and stuff like that, which I think is really cute. And this is another one that has a double um, tacked on it, and this one just says News Flash. And the other one just is a top 10 list. Um, and at the bottom it says, The best, the tops, the bomb, excellent, fabulous, superior, makes sense of life by ranking everything in from 1 to 10. And then this one says, for the love of the game and it you can see there's a little shine some foil on there and then this tag says it's just a pewter tag that i got in the dollar spot at michael's uh, by memory makers dream which i use the same metal brad in it 
I'm just blue on the other side. I just used a Jolie's um, Swarovski Crisco little sticker that I get on clearance for 99 cents at Michael's. And then I used a little, it's like a photo holder on there with a brad. And then at the bottom it says, I'll start. I used another piece of grunge board that I inked that I got from Suzanne. And then stripe page. Newsprint on it, and here's the top page of it. And then the back, I covered it with the um, pattern paper, and then I've already scanned all the pictures and awards and everything like that that they gave me to stick in the album. But um, there was pictures that were messed up and stuff like that, so I corrected those and um, fixed those all with the uh, Microsoft Picture Publisher. And I'm going to include the disc with it, so that way if they want to ever reprint these pictures or whatever, because I'm going to print everything off in black and white and add it. Just took uh, an envelope that I had, added some pattern paper to it, distressed it, and then I took a acetate star, and there was actually a star with the die cuts with the paper, and added that to the top, and used this as a flap holder, and then I'll just add the disc in. This is just the last page here at the back of the book, so... Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to eventually get my scrapbook room on uh, YouTube. So I hope you guys have a great day, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video of my album. And if you have any questions, please contact me. Feel free to leave comments. And like I said, check out um, Laura from Following the Paper Trail. She's got some awesome tutorials and Ustream videos. So everyone have a great day, and I hope you had a great Mother's Day, and stay crafty. Thanks.